is where things could really go awry. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Things have finally settled down a bit. I'm going to attempt to mount the Ecotec battery backup inside of my cabinet. There's a couple different options that I'm gonna attempt. The first and easiest option is I'm gonna attempt to Velcro it up first with like the super strong Velcro pads that I have. Like I said, the thing is super heavy, so I'm not sure if that's gonna work or not. If it works, great, so I don't have to screw into the cabinet at all. If not, I have some, you know, tools. I'm sorry, my Roomba is over here just making a bunch of noise, but we're just gonna keep it on going. Also have some tools and screws if we have to mount it onto the hardware. I'm gonna call in some reinforcements. Look at them work. Hey, 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 watch the tank. Dang, just banging into my shit like that. So the tank is doing good. I was away for about a week and uh, luckily everything everything stayed, stayed pretty good. I'm still getting a little bit of recession on the scully more so in this corner now it like filled in over here but it's going a little bit deeper there so i'm not sure if it's i don't know what it is I, i'm gonna just try to up the feeding a little bit more and see if that helps i have a nice little apatasia garden going right here um so that's that's cool everyone has really fully expanded and is just loving life like the reverse hammer really seems happy over there it's got super long tentacles Everybody's doing good. I'm still missing one hammer right here, I think, or a frog spawn or something. I need I need some sort of bright piece right here to kind of finish that off. The torch over here, the green torch that I have is also doing really good. So you see, I don't, that other torch that I get from Jason's tank, I don't know. It just, I feel like it doesn't like my tank. Maybe that specific torch, this is too hot of a tank for it. It could be because this torch is in the exact same position and look at it, it's been here for weeks and it is, it, it's doing really, really good. So I'm not sure if it's just that specific torch that doesn't like my tank. We are also still doing good with the Montes and the dosing of Red Sea Trace Colors A. That has definitely seemed to help that addition of iodine. I again, haven't done it in about a week since I was out of town, but I will uh, drop a little bit in today. And look, that is like the only little piece right there that's still missing from coming back. And we have some new growth as well. I have to do that big like fragging session that I've been telling you guys about where I just cut back everything a lot. The problem is that for some reason, uh, I have my frag, my frag tank that you guys know about, and I have some big corals in there relatively cheap, like 20 to 25 bucks for loaded up frags. And for some reason they're not selling. I got Bam Bam frags loaded for 20 bucks. I don't want to take them out of here and put them in a tank that is not as established and well doing like, you know, just not as uh, nutritious as this tank um, because I don't want to put them up there and they die. Like over there right now, I have pretty hardy stuff like the Zoas and whatnot, but I'm just not, I'm not selling a lot of the frags from the overgrowth that I have. So that's kind of why I've been putting off fragging all of this because I know that when I frag all this stuff, that frag tank is going to be completely full, cool, jam packed. And if I don't get rid of the stuff and re dude, seriously, if I don't get rid of the stuff in a reasonable amount of time, it's just going to start growing all over each other. And then it's going to be a disaster. And then I'm going to just have to get another frag tank to put more frags in. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit on the edge of what to do with that situation. Anyway, I need to give this front glass a quick little cleaning so you guys can see a little better, but like, look how nice that little colony of pink hippos looks right there in the centerpiece. Look, this Space Invader Chalice, I could trim all of that front piece and that's gonna get me, what, four, five, six awesome chunks right there off the bat. It's starting to grow over the Zoas, which I obviously don't want to happen. It's just, it's, it's, it, it could be trimmed. It also looks like something might have stung that uh, meteor shower right there. I wonder if it's like a tentacle from the chalice or what might have happened there. Okay, dude, that's enough. You gotta go. You go over here. Them clownfish look hungry, but I'm gonna try to beat them. Oh no, everybody's, everybody's coming to bite. Look at them, just waiting. I just put a glove on, it's not worth it. I already see them, look at them, hungry. Hungry for my freaking hands, my little clownfish little shits. Look, he just got me, ha ha, I had a glove on, sucker. It's mostly the little one that just loves to, look, if I just put my hand, oh, now you're not gonna do it? 
haven't pinned this guy in at all this week, so got to go ahead and do that. Two milliliters. I also got a special delivery of some chunky starfish for Quincy. These are some really nice pieces. He's going to be happy. Get out. Get out. Whoa. Now that all the fun maintenance is done, we could finally, wow, you saw how my hair just did that. We could finally get on with mounting the battery back up. If you guys are new here, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications on. See what we're working with here. Oh, oh, what battery backup? Oh, the one that's back there, green means go. If we do mount it with the screws to mount it like in between that gap, yeah. I was just gonna put it like right. Boop, boop, boop. This is my Velcro here. Jason said he read something online that a Velcro could hold 175 pounds. They are really nice Velcro, Velcro like pads. Look, look. Let me see the other side. What other side? This? They're strong. Look, try, try to rip off that. Look, there you go. That's part of my thing. Try to rip off that thing so you can see how strong it is. <clears throat> Look at this. Well, I'm not the creator of this, but the strength is coming from pulling. Or pulling, right? This way. Right, but I'm worried that it's going to come off of the wall. No. Like the sticky portion. Not necessarily the Velcro to Velcro. I'm scared that the whole thing, like if this is the back wall, I'm scared that the whole thing is going to come off of the back wall. Is it sticky? Correct. That's, that's what worries that's what worries me because the velcro I know from this thing these velcros I'm like pulling this and it doesn't come off like I'm, I feel like I'm gonna rip that controller in half to yeah. take it off be fine. so we just looked at the uh, Amazon purchase for the velcro that I did like a year ago and it doesn't say like a specific weight requirement but there was a lady that posted her cat hanging off the ledge and says that it holds her nine pound cat so I mean, we should be okay. Jason just brought it to my attention. I should probably clarify. She's not strapping her actual cat to the wall. She is strapping a bed to the wall and then the cat can jump into the bed. Not, there's no Velcro on the actual cat, just to be clear. This thing is so heavy. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm nervous for the Velcro, to be honest. It's so heavy. It's just flat, it's fine. It'll be fine. You just need something to put it, like. Something to rest it on and just stick it on there and just put it. So heavy, this thing. You think, what about this uh, an enemy box? An anemone box. You know, an anemone box. It's perfect. It's too high? I don't think so. Okay, then look. You think it's too high? The wires have to be able to plug in. They're like. Yeah. I think that's pretty good, huh? Yeah, perfect. I was planning to just put this whole strip. Like, I'd rather it be stronger. So maybe like one here. One here and then like one at the top, like three. So the majority of the weight will be from the top. So top, so we'll do it, yeah. top and then bottom, like that. Like two top, top, bottom, and then one down here, right? Mm -hmm. And we think that holds. Yeah. All right, let's send it. I mean, what's the worst case scenario here? It falls off the thing and just breaks the plugs. No fire. I don't think so. Okay. It's in the back, so I don't think it would reach to hit these bottles over, so it should be okay. We got some handy-dandy alcohol. So, to make sure you know, so this is wall. I'm putting the pieces together, so that way they line up against the wall. Stick it to my, can I stick it to my towel?
looks crooked. Well, because you had the plugs on the other side. What plugs? The plugs oh, on the bottom. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, no. Remember when I said things could really go awry? <laughs> yep. I think we done did it. Oh, shit. It's kind of stuck. Feel it off. I'm trying. My fingers don't fit in there. I think we're going to be okay with the strength of this thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> I forgot to calculate for the bottom of the thing for the plugs to go in. Watch how tight that is in there. <laughs> Careful with my bottles behind you. What was that? If you could get that side loose, it could pivot Gosh, up. To something, dripped in my eye. something dripped in your eye. There's nothing even in that one. Such an exaggerator. <laughs> you don't even take the back one off, just off, just this side, and then that that should really on there, boy. If we could just lift this side, we could yes. pivot it up a little. No, it's crooked. It. Did you? Did you really? Yeah, it looks good there. I think you tilted it enough. That ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Now it doesn't fit under here. That is some pretty serious Velcro. We were literally yanking on it and we couldn't get it off. I don't know. I think we'll be okay. I put the anemone thing back under there only on this side to, um, cause it says you're supposed to have for 24 hours pressure. We don't have pressure necessarily, but at least it's not uh, like weighing down on it. So it could really like adhere. But we got that thing mounted up there, baby. That did go much easier than anticipated. Look, Jason brought his whole toolbox just so that we could install this thing if we needed to. Hey, look at that thing. So official back there. Boom, I haven't plugged it back in yet. Once that uh, an enemy box is done, I'll plug it back in, but it's chilling. Before I let you go, let's watch these fishes eat some food. Frozen mice is melting here. Hungry fish. I need to get some into that scully. It's gotta eat it before this guy comes and picks it out. That's the difficult part. There's a lot in there right now. He's opening, he's opening up, he's opening up. Come on, suck that shit down, boy. Go quicker. Oh, I gotta keep this guy happy up here. Oh, that's a lot. Oh yeah, look at him go. They're going, they're going for it. And this guy's sucking it down. He's almost got it. Come on. Wow, he took that stuff down. Dude, this guy's just rubbing his butt all over his mouth. We gotta get our scully happy. See that little bit of receding there is getting too deep, friends, too deep. There you have it guys. We successfully mounted the Ecotech battery back up inside of my cabinets with Velcro. I say successfully, but technically I don't really know if it's gonna hold long term but it seemed very 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 secure if anything changes i'll let you know but for the meantime just assume that it it stayed it stayed up and, and is doing well if you guys are new here hit the subscribe button turn those notifications on we got new fish videos every single week if you guys enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up button really helps the channel out i hope you guys enjoyed the content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one later Everything's fine.